Hi, kia ora. I'm Santiago and this is Kia Kid News. Today in Auckland, I'm at the Wall Memorial Museum today. For the first time, Kiwi kids can see a real T-Rex skeleton. Meet Peter, a T-Rex that lived and died 66 million years ago. Out of 40 T-Rex found around the world, Peter is one of 10 of the most complete T-Rex skeletons ever found. And he's the first to ever visit New Zealand. We were there when they just got Peter out of the box. Whoa, it's huge. Whoa, the bones are so huge. I wonder if he could eat me in one bite. But where's the head? Peter's head's in a box over there. So this is the room where they check the bones before they put them up. Let's go meet his head. Oh my God, it's huge. I bet it's even bigger than me. Wow. Some of these teeth are as big as my arm, look. T-Rex was one of the most ferocious predators on the planet and the most famous dinosaur. They are in almost every dinosaur movie. Jurassic Park, Land Before Time, they're always the big bad guys. They grow up to 12 meters long and could chomp off 100 kilograms of flesh in one bite. That's like eating you in one chomp. But just how scary was Peter? And what happened to him? We went behind the scenes to meet Matt Rayner. How did Peter the T-Rex die? We know that his bones were crushed, crushed inwards by something big and sharp. We know that his big leg bones had the marks of T-Rex teeth. So it's thought that he was killed and eaten by another T-Rex, maybe even bigger than he was. Wow. Yeah, which is pretty scary. Simon Gamble. He figured out how to put all the bones together. How much bones are in a T-Rex skeleton? There's over 200 bones in Peter, the T-Rex that's behind us. If it's your first time seeing a dinosaur, how do you know where to put all the bones? Well, we're quite lucky with T-Rexes. There's about 50 of them that exist in the world. And so everyone kind of has a pretty good idea about what a T-Rex looks like. Originally, people didn't, and so sometimes they made some very crazy looking animals out of the bones. Or they got two or three different dinosaurs and mashed them together. Some of the really early paleontologists uh, didn't quite get things right. Would I be able to escape if Peter the T-Rex was alive today? Well, that depends on whether you think you can run faster than 20 kilometers an hour, which is how fast we thought Peter could run. I don't think so. Wow, I'm glad that T-Rex is our only skeleton these days. How cool that now we can see a real one. This is Santiago reporting for Kia Kid News.